Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for what I consider to be an extremely special aircraft in War Thunder, the Vator 2N. That's right, this is a currently rank 5 battle rating 8. Point three interceptor that's right this is i think the game's only jet fighter slash interceptor in war thunder so this is a very special aircraft mainly for one reason so as a vator you would expect hey this would be able to carry bombs or something of that nature but that is incorrect with this rather you can carry radar guided missiles all the way down at 8.3 br which there are still a few bombers at and around this BR, and some planes that might not be maneuverable enough to be able to dodge them. Definitely not planes with countermeasures. So I said, let's get into a few matches, test these missiles out. They are very interesting, and I think this is the lowest ranking radar guided missile carrying aircraft plane in War Thunder. Although, although if you guys don't know, the F3D has a variant that could carry missiles. But that being said, this is all about the Vator 2 n So I said, let's get into a few matches and make some people pissed off. Okay, we have ourselves our first victim. I'm gonna go ahead and launch once we get to, eh, let's say like right here. Just because they do take some time to adjust these, uh, these missiles, they're not the absolute greatest thing in the world. And a lot of people might want to think that these things are like the, the coolest, and the best, and don't get me wrong, having radar guided missiles at 8.3 BR is really, really cool. However, uh, you know, as one could expect anything with an 8.3 BR missile to be, uh, there are again some very, very big issues. And then, of course, you also have the moments where you can pretty much turn this thing into a fighter against your average A4E player, which is very fun, you know? It's a very fun thing to do with this vehicle because, of course, those R-511s, like, they'll do the trick every now and again, but, you know, they're they're more meant for, like, hey, there's a big stupid bomber that can't really get out of its own way. Let's go ahead and attack that sort of thing. Okay, we have a few aircraft here, none of which are picking up on radar for the most part. If you guys don't know, ground clutter is pretty pretty much the uh, enemy of this thing and no one wants to do a head-on with me who figure kind of stupid in my opinion everyone should want to do a head-on versus me so let's go ahead and see if we can lock on to one of these people and we have a lucky f86a four kilometers seems to be a pretty decent range for these because at that point it'll be able to kind of adjust its flight path and hopefully score a hit yes we have ourselves a hit, not a kill. Now, these things do have a lot of explosive filler in them, of course, because they kind of need them, because they're not the most accurate. They're just like, yeah, you know what? Go put, like, I don't know, 30 pounds of TNT in this thing, and eh, maybe it'll go off within uh, eh, a football field of them. Doesn't really matter if you believe in American or European soccer or football, whatever. It'll go off. Okay, this guy is starting to turn against me. Doesn't really matter. So, let's see. Can I get this Sabor with my guns? I kind of can. That's all that matters to me, right? So, we still have this guy up here. Can I get him with my guns? And I definitely can. Now, my, unfortunately, and this is going to sound like a cop-out, probably because it kind of is... But, right when I was shooting at that saber, like, if you see my plane kind of jolted a little bit, my freaking mouse pad, I moved my mouse pad by accident with my mouse, but a little bit different, I don't know, anyways, it, it screwed me up. But, we have ourselves a kill, and an assist. Ooh, can I do this? Let's see. Okay, I would have hit him anyways. I'll take that as a missile kill, even though technically it wasn't. Not too bad. And I think that may have been the guy who I uh, shot with the missile before. Let's get into another match. I, I kind of like this thing. Okay, we have ourselves a possible target here. Tough to say exactly. He's moving very quickly. I'm going to fire right now. Uh, it's a little bit possibly early. But I think I should be able to get him... Hopefully, 
Man, that is a very late course correction. Who knows, right? Yeah, you know what? I got him. Very nice. Very nice. So, in order to basically compensate for the, uh, you know, for the ridiculously slow speed on these things, like, they only move at 1.8 Mach, right? At most. 12 Gs of overload, again, at most. They really have to make these course corrections very early. So, my initial impressions of these missiles... And, yeah, I know, they've been out for a long time. But the missile plus the radar, all that jazz, I mean... It is what it is, right? Like, this thing, on one hand... The missiles are really cool. But I almost kind of feel like they are... A bit of a distraction might be a way to put it. Like, there have been many instances that I've had that, you know, I was recording and trying to get a kill or something with the missiles, and it just didn't go through. And then you have to resort on the guns, and then what happens is this vehicle is really big, really heavy, and the guns don't always work, and any number of things can go wrong. It's in up tiers all the time. I mean, like, it is... It can be a hassle. Like, at this range, I'm, like, four kilometers away. I'm not going to hit him. No way in hell. I'd have to be at, like... Two and a half, and he'd have to be going away from me. Or, um, you know, kind of intersecting with me on a path. So, actually, this might work, though, being that... Nope, doesn't matter, because someone with better missiles got to him first. And that's kind of going to be a, uh, a signature thing. That guy's already way too close. However, I might be able to sneak up on this A4E. Let's see if we can do that. Go ahead and launch on him. Five kilometers is a touch far from, uh, you know, in general, but not all too bad, all things considered. And he's already hit by a better missile. You know what? Let's go ahead and fire on this G91. I don't know how the heck I'm still alive here, but if I get this kill, man, I'm going to be stoked. Oh, stoking in progress. Yes, please. Yes, please. Don't know, but... Oh, three kills. Okay, so these missiles, they're not very good. I'll be it. Like, they're fun, and you'll get kills every now and again with them. But it's just... Uh, it, it feels like more of a uh, more of a gimmick, in a way. And like I said, like I really want them to be good. But first, the platform itself isn't really all that hot. Like, the Vautour, it's not a bad plane. It's incredibly fast. But this thing has minimal maneuverability, so when you're trying to intercept bombers that are typically going to be intercepted by, like, F-104s, because you're in up tiers all the time, it's like, then you're forced to go after enemy, like, fighters that are much more difficult to kill, and, like, yeah, you can get your occasional three-kill match, but man, man, basically what I'm trying to say is that I really want to get more radar kill, uh, missile kills, but it's just... You don't get them too often. You know, I've been kind of thinking about it, and being that this is a very unique vehicle currently in War Thunder, like I said, the Sky Knight did have options for radar-guided missiles, whatever. But this vehicle where it is is very unique in War Thunder as of present. And the one thing I wish that this vehicle could do a little bit better was just get those sweet radar-guided kills. Or the, the radar missile Radar guided? Yeah, radar guided missile kills. I don't even know what the hell I'm speaking about. It's just, they're so fun. Like, these missiles actually feel like they take a level of skill. Whereas, like, an AIM-9L just doesn't, you know? Like, these have some sort of a feeling where it's like, okay, I have to launch at this vector, I have to do this, that, and the other thing. It's like, with these missiles, you actually have to try a little. And that's just kind of unique. And I, I don't know, I, I really like that in War Thunder. Where you have to try. Because trying isn't really something that you always have to do in this game. But when you do it, it's just a, I don't know, it's a nice feeling. Let's see if I can get like a one kilometer. Probably not, right? Oh, wouldn't that have been something if it just blew up? I really don't care how well I do in this match, by the way. This is just going to be like the, the last, like the final word, you know? But... In general, yeah, I mean, I like this plane. I like that it gives a challenge. It's not by any means a very good aircraft, you know, at least for what it does or for for what you're expected to do. 
if you're looking at destroying enemy um, your know, bombers, this vehicle is awesome. You know, it's really actually pretty good in that role. If you're looking to destroy enemy fighters, eh, maybe not so much. It has its moments, like this. Maybe. Maybe like this. Not like this. No, not like this. Not like this. It was never meant to be. But in all seriousness, it, you know, it has its moments where it's like, okay, you get yourself a kill, especially if it's someone who's not paying attention. You know, they do happen. Are they going to be like an everyday sort of thing? Or an every match sort of thing? No. But in general, I mean, like, I found some pretty decent success with this aircraft. I feel like it's capable of getting, eh, two kills per match, maybe three, on a fairly consistent basis. Nothing all too crazy, nothing, um, you know, very limited. So, I mean, it's a capable enough aircraft, but it really, it sees too many up tiers, in my opinion. Uh, for me to really be in love with this plane, but hey, it is what it is, right? So we have ourselves an F4D1 player that just decided to Give me a kill. Thank you so much. But as you can see in this match I had a surefire kill against I think it was that J29 just before with my missiles like it should have hit him But it didn't uh, I just kind of decided nah, I'm gonna go around him and that's just kind of the story of these missiles. They're not, like, absolutely terrible, but mixed with the radar, it's like, meh missiles, meh radar, and at a BR where they're pretty uncommon. And, yeah, they'll make a difference to an extent, but pretty much the, the main thing that they're going to be able to do for you is get you a kill where somebody else might have gotten it because they can go just a little bit faster than a lot of aircraft out there. And that's pretty much it. You know, three kills, can't complain. Feel like that's about the best that this vehicle's typically going to do. So that being said, I don't know if there's going to be any more kills in this match. So if not, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. Tell me what you guys think about these missiles. Like genuinely, I'm interested to read your opinions on them. If anyone else has used this aircraft in my comment section, in my viewer base, uh, because it's just such, again, a unique vehicle. But again, either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. And no, I would never be able to catch that guy. Take care, everyone.